In this video, we are going to see how to post new Google Calendar events to Telegram. So let's say that you're using Google Calendar to organize your events. And every time a new event is created here, automatically your team that is sitting on Telegram, which is a social messaging app. So automatically the team would be updated that this particular event has been created. Now this is wonderful, but how can you do this? For this, you will have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using public connect software here your trigger application would be google calendar and your action application would be telegram now how can you do this yourself like every time a, an event is created automatically a message is sent you can do this how to understand that let me take you to my screen to begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two tabs, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes and yes, at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks to explore this software. Now I'm going to click on sign in. And here we have reached the all applications page. Since we are doing this integration using Public Connect, let's click on access now. And here we have reached the dashboard of the application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here, my objective is to post new Google Calendar events to Telegram. So I'm going to name it as post new Google Calendar events to Telegram. Let's click on create. So as we do that here, we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically action here is the response of our trigger application. Now here my trigger application would be Google Calendar. So I'm going to look for this and here the trigger event would be new event. So every time a new event is created here, then only this workflow will be triggered. Here again, you can see it is written that this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes, which means that in real time, it this workflow will run after every 10 minutes to fetch for new data. So if in case you do not receive your response immediately, just have some patience within 10 to 15 minutes, you would be able to receive the same. Now I'm going to click on connect and here Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Google Calendar account. To set up this connection, let's select add new connection and then connect with Google Calendar. So here we have to choose the account with which our calendar has been attached. So once done, here we have to authorize the same. So I'm going to click on continue and you can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that Public Connect is now connected with Google Calendar. Once done, here we have to select the connection. Basically here we have to select the calendar. So it is attached with my Gmail. So I'm going to select this and now click on save and send test request. So here we have received a blank response. Why? Because as of now, no event has been created in my calendar. So let me take you to my calendar and here I'm going to create a new event. So let's say the title is demo event. So it's a demo event which has been scheduled for Monday 14th of November. And what's the time? So let's say the time is 1.30 to 2.30 p.m. It's an hour meeting. And now the next thing is you can add guests, you can add a meet video conferencing, you can add description or attachments. I'm just going to leave this blank and click on save. So as soon as we do that here, you can see that the event has been saved. Now, if I take you back to Public Connect and click on save and send test request. So here we have received the API response. So this is our demo event, which is the name of our event. Then here it is saying that the status is confirmed. What is the start time zone? It is Asia Kolkata. Then we have received the start date time. As we go down, then we have received the organizer's email and then we have the end time zone and end date time and then the created time. Now, if I have to send a message on Telegram to my team that this particular event has been created, I will have to format the date here. So here I'm going to choose my next action application, which is a feature by Pabli date time formatter. 
Here the action event would be to format date with time zone. And what am I going to format over here? I'm going to format the start and the end date. So let's go to step one. And here you can see start date time. Let's click on this. And now what is the form format? So this format that has been specified here is exactly the same format. So the form format remains the same. Now the two formats. So I want the date as well as the time. So I'm going to select this date, month, year, along with our minutes and seconds. Now the from time zone. So let's make it Asia Kolkata. And then the two time zone is again going to be Asia Kolkata. Let's click on save and send test request. So as we do that here, we can see that we have received the desired date and format. Now I'm going to add the same action step again. The same feature we are going to use again for the end time. So date time formatter. Action event would be format date with the time zone. Let's click on connect. And here the date would be, I'm going to go to step one. And here the end time is this. Then again, the form format is going to stay the same. To format will be this. Time zone again, Asia Kolkata. Again, two time zone is Asia Kolkata. Let's click on save and send test request. So here we have received the date along with the time in our desired format. Now, what is our next objective? Our next objective is to send a message to my team sitting on Telegram, updating them about the event just created through Google Calendar. So I'm going to add another action step over here. And this time the application would be Telegram Boot. Let's click on this. And now the action event here would be send a text message or a reply. Let's click on connect. Again here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Telegram bot account. I'm going to select add new connection. And then we have to provide a token to set up this connection. Now, how can you receive this token for this? First, you will have to log into your Telegram bot account. I've already done that. Let me show you. So this is my Telegram account and here we have to look for bot father. So let's look for this. Now let's start the conversation and here we have to create a new bot. So how do we do that? Slash new bot. Enter. So here we can see that it is asking us to name our bot. So let me make it Telegram and so I'm just going to write Tele Calendar 1234. Okay, this is the name of my bot. Now we have to choose a username for the same. So I'm going to write Tele Calendar 1234 underscore bot. Remember that when you are writing a username, it should end with underscore bot. So here you can see that we have created a new bot, which we can find through this link. Also, this is the token to access the API. So I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and paste this over here. Let's click on save. So here you can see that Telegram is now connected with Pabli Connect. Now here we have to provide the chat ID, text message. So how can we get this chat ID for this? We'll go back to Telegram and here I'm going to use this bot that we have just created. So once done, let's click on start and here I'm just going to write a message so that this bot can be reflected here in the chat. Now that it is there, we are going to create a new group. Let's click on this. Let me add a few people over here. So I'm going to just add some random people. So once done, we have to make sure that we also add the bot that we have just created. So I have added that. Now let's click on enter. And here we have to name our group. So I'm going to write Tele group 1234 enter. So once this is done, what we have to do is now, with the help of your mobile phone, you have to make your bot the admin. So now I'm going to do the same. So here I have done that. Now, what do we do? Now, this is the chat ID that we require. So I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect, paste this over here, and then the text message. So let's say my message is, hey team, I have received a new event through Google Calendar. Now let's write the details. So I'm going to write the title of the event. So let's go to step one. And here, this is the name of the event. What am I doing right now? Mapping 
the information. What is mapping? I already have this information in the previous step like this and I'm just going to retrieve it here. And why is mapping important? Because if I want that every time the new data should be inculcated to my workflow, then it is important to map it. Otherwise, if I write this manually, it is always going to take the manually written data and there won't be any change. Now, the next thing I need is the start time. So the start time again for this, I'm going to go to step two and this is the start time. And then I need the end time. So here the end time will be this and regards so once we have written this message do you want to disable notification you can select this disable link previews you can select the same i'm going to click on save and send test request so here you can see that we have received the api response which basically means that this particular message should now become a part of the telegram group and here if I show you, yes, we have received the same, which basically means that our integration process is a success. Now, what I'm going to do is I need to check this in real time, which means in real time if this workflow works. So again, I'm going to take you back to Google Calendar and here I'm going to create another event. This time, let's say the name is test event. And what is the date? Let's say it is 15th of November and the time so it is 4 p.m to 5 p.m i'm going to click on save now as soon as this event has been created what should happen automatically a message should be sent on telegram but we remember that there was a polling time of 10 minutes so now we are going to wait for 10 minutes and then we'll go and check our telegram group and here you can see that yes we have received another message which means that our integration process is a complete success now I'm going to take you back to Public Connect to understand what we have done. So it is an extremely easy two-step integration process. We had chosen our trigger application as Google Calendar and the event was new event. Then we had chosen a feature by Pably which is date time formatter just to format the date along with the time zone. And then our final action application was Telegram Bot where we had chosen our event as send a text message or a reply HTML. I hope this is very much clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the description box of this video. You can clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any other integration that you wish to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Public Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.